Doctor, you've talked to us a lot about the problems with the ear ventilation tube, the one that connects the nose and the ear. But briefly, tell us, show can we know if we have a problem with the ventilation tube? What should we do to treat it? Look, if there's a problem with the ear ventilation tube, yes, the patient often feels that their ear is a bit heavy, as if there's some pressure on it. There's a fullness in the ear, and every time they swallow or yawn, they feel like their ear opens and closes. They feel uncomfortable. There's a slight ringing in their ear. Their hearing isn't good. It's a feeling similar to what we experience when we're descending in an airplane. So if this problem exists, what should we do? The first thing is, yes, at the level of the ear, you need to see an ENT doctor to examine the eardrum and make sure the ear itself is fine. And that the problem is only in the ventilation tube. You may need to do a hearing test and a middle ear pressure test to analyses or measurements that determine the extent of the problem. That's it, okay? If that's the case, the doctor also needs to examine the nose with an endoscope. It's essential to use the endoscope to examine the nose. Just looking with the naked eye isn't enough, or just using the device that opens the nostrils isn't sufficient either. That's not enough. An endoscope must reach all the way to the ventilation tube to make sure nothing is blocking it and that there are no problems in the nose. If there's a problem in the nose, then it must be treated, whether it's polyps, infections, or allergies, and that takes time. Treating these issues takes time, and improvement in the ear happens gradually. Now, if there's no problem in the nose, meaning the opening at the start of the tube is fine and the issue is in the ear, that means the tube isn't functioning properly. This is a somewhat bigger problem when the issue isn't in the nose, but in the tube itself. The tube itself can have a lot of different issues. Yes, there are medications we use, and there's also a procedure I mentioned before, the balloon procedure or, or dilation of the tube, which has recently proven to be very effective. So what should we do, doctor? There's a maneuver we do called the Valsalva maneuver. What you do is take a deep breath, close your mouth and nose with your hands, and try to blow, forcing into that tube just like I'm about to show you. Take a breath and blow hard. Blowing hard like this forces strongly into the ear's ventilation tube. That's it, do this five or six times a day. With every prayer, that's it. Just follow these steps in order. Examine the ear, do a hearing test, check the middle ear pressure, examine the nose with an endoscope. And if there's any problem with the nose, treat that first, wishing you a speedy recovery. If you like these videos, please give them a like and subscribe to the channel so we know you're waiting for more videos. Wishing you a speedy recovery.